Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So yes, it's that time again. Time to take up another champion. It's gonna be a six star, and they are going to rank three. Now, you just watched a mystery rank up theater where I took up a champion to rank three. If you missed it, go check it out. But this one, I actually thought about it. There was a champion that I thought about taking to rank two as a six star instead to help me with the current uh, Eternity of Pain. But then I said, you know what? I'm not gonna rank up just for that unless it's a champion I'm gonna use elsewhere. And I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna take that champion up. I'm gonna take this champion up instead. And if you think you can guess who this champion is that I'm about to take up to rank three, leave a comment. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Hyperion! Y'all saw me when I took him up to rank two, and I'm working my way through act seven. And he will help me in act seven. So that's why I'm taking him up. All right, here we go. And he is my latest rank three, six star. And if you saw, you know, I don't have any more resources. I used them all up. Um, but I think it was worth it. He is a beast still. He's an old champion that still kicks butt. Quite simple, simple to play and just wrecks. Uh, and I will most likely be using him in Act 7 against, uh, was it a uh, Gwen Pyrian or uh, Gwen Master? I don't know why I keep calling her all kind of different names, um, but Gwen Master. I've only gone in there once against her, and um, I know I'm going to be using revives anyway, but he was good with her, and so was um, uh, Nick Fury. All right, so... Uh, let's, um, I'm not gonna open up any, uh, any crystals or anything like that, uh, to try and get cosmics. Uh, we'll just see, do I have any basics? Yeah, I do. All right. Let's pop them in. Don't do this if you don't have the gold, because you lose gold by doing that. Those gray ones, you want to sell them. For gold. All right, let's take a look real quick here at his uh, stats, as I like to do. Um, all right, mm -mm 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 -mm. let's uh, switch over here. All right, and uh, this is his uh, signature ability. I love that Kabam added this in, so you can actually look at their signature ability even if they're not awakened. So all this does is it increases buff duration. Now that is good, okay? It is good. Um, if I had a Cosmic Awakening gem, I might give it to him. Or I might give it to a uh, Null. But he is perfectly fine without being awakened. But it, it is nice, it is really nice. All right, um, and I do have an, a generic, which I'm not using on him. Let's go into uh, Realm of Legends. And uh, let's uh, edit, edit, boop, boop, boop. and let's grab him. And now I I could add a whole lot of uh, synergies. There's some synergies that will um, increase the duration of his buffs. Um, being a cosmic and all that, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, and keep in mind, I do run suicides as well. Uh, so let's let's have a little fun with a uh, Hyperion. All right, a little RNG involved with him though. That's some five uh, Furies that you see in there, and I'm going to build up to a special three first. 
it does ramp up his damage. All right, we had seven uh, Furies. But this does ramp up his damage. Of course, I knew he was going to do that. Look at that damage. Ooh. Oh, I walked into it. I actually walked into that one. All right. Woo. Look at that damage. Oh, yes. Yummy. Woo. Yeah, he's got to get me off of him. But it won't work. I'm back on you. Oh, yeah. Can't get rid of me. Oh, no. Some more punches in the face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's hit him with a special one, too. Yeah, not too many incinerates on that one. Come on. See if we get another cycle in. Boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. That's Hyperion. Now, I run suicide, so I take damage, um, you know, from the recoil and all that good stuff. So... You can expect me to be eating up my own uh, health, but that's all right. If it really becomes a problem and I need him for some uh, content, all I do is turn off my suicides. Okay, come on. Get that... Uh, Okay, no. <laughs> I always get the um, the spacing wrong with his heavy attack. And he has that pause, and that's when they like to hit me in it. Right in that pause. All right, let's get some Furies up here. All right. Yeah. And see, if the buff was lasting longer, we would have, um, you know, a lot more power. So it does make a difference having him awakened. It's just that he doesn't absolutely need it. That's some good uh, RNG there. See, like this power gain right here would last a whole lot longer and I'd be able to get, you know, almost to another special two. Some good uh, furies going on there, though. And there we go. But if you're going to run suicides and play him like that, just be prepared to use um, some uh, health potions and things like that. You can see here, you know, I got hit zero times. And look at the damage, double edge and recoil because he's poison immune. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Did you guess right? Did you guess that I was going to be taking up Hyperion? Let me know. Uh, take care, and you all have a blessed day.